Society is enabling narcissists. Society is giving authority to narcissists. Society is giving them the power or right to give orders, make decisions and enforce obedience. They are making it possible for them to do what they do. They are making it easier. They are giving them the devices needed to deceive people, to control and influence them, to direct their behavior or the course of events, to make full use of and derive benefit from them in a way that might be considered unfair or underhanded. Society is giving narcissists the power or right to do all of this. They are enabling them. Through the use of social conditioning, society has created places of refuge or security where narcissists are protected from harm or danger. They have trained individuals in society to accept these customs and ideologies. To accept these new widely accepted ways of behaving. These narcissistic behaviors and practices and systems of ideas and ideals. Many of which go against social norms or what might be considered to be normal or appropriate behavior. They have trained individuals in society to accept these behaviors, practices, and systems of ideas and ideals as something that should be tolerated or allowed. Something that everyone should agree on. Something that should be considered to be adequate, appreciated, pleasing, reasonable. Society has given narcissists a structure, an opportunity to voice their views or initiate action. A place where they can grow and develop well and achieve their desired aim or result. Whatever you are looking for in a person, they will adapt themselves to be whatever you are looking for. These narcissists have no fixed identity. They are whatever you want them to be. But it's not because they are genuinely interested in you or because they care about fulfilling your needs. Narcissists are self-absorbed and lack empathy. They only care about themselves. So they will act right or appropriate for you or for a particular purpose or situation if it means that they can get something out of it. They will try to come across as being unobtrusive or harmonious by being similar in appearance or behavior to other people in society. Narcissists are always following the general direction in which something is developing or changing. They are always following the tendencies, movements or fashions of everyone else. They have no fixed identity of their own. They are always following trends. That is why you need to follow your own activities or interests rather than what is trending. It makes you less likely to be around narcissists as they are always following trends. Any special or unique characteristics are no longer celebrated or accepted in society. You now get fiercely criticized or opposed for being special or unique. You get rejected or ostracized from society or your social group 
for being special or unique. People all want to look, dress and act like celebrities now. No one is interested in being the only one of its kind. No one wants to be distinctive or individual. Because you get criticised or opposed for being different from everyone else. So you are forced to conform to the conventions and standards to avoid criticism or opposition. People are only celebrated or accepted when they portray what is currently trending or what is currently liked or admired by the majority of the general public. And narcissists are studying the trends of society. They are devoting their time and attention to gaining knowledge of what is currently liked or admired by people. And they are then using this information to deceive you. To give you a mistaken impression. To deliberately cause you to believe something that is not true for their own personal gain. There is nothing special or unique about them. It's all orchestrated. They plan or coordinate the elements of a situation to produce a desired effect. They conform or correspond to an established standard or type that we are attracted to, that we are interested in, but it has nothing to do with them. They don't even have to be about any of that. It's all planned and coordinated to produce the desired effect. They're just conforming or corresponding to whatever is popular, whatever is trending. It reveals nothing about them as a person. And the narcissists who study these trends have no identity. They have no personality. They're just trying to match whatever is currently deemed to be attractive or desirable in society. It reveals nothing about them. It doesn't mean that you are attracted to or interested in these types of people. Most often they have no identity of their own. They have no personality. They abandon their true selves to be popular. To be what everyone else wants to see. To have a sense of belonging. And to feel as though they are something desirable or attractive. To feel as though they are something of significance or value. They are dependent on people. They are dependent on expressions of praise or admiration. This is what validates and props up their false self. They cannot be self-validating because the false self is not real. It doesn't really exist. It is a false character based on a set of idealistic values. This is why they need so much praise and admiration. They need your attention at all times to make them feel as though they exist. They may never admit it to you, but praise and admiration is the most potent source of fuel for them. It regulates their emotions and boosts their self-worth, self-esteem and self-importance. They cannot regulate these things on their own. That is why wherever you go, you keep running into narcissists. They are always seeking out high quality source of supply. They are always looking for the best that they can find. They don't want to extract anything from a regular person. 
it would have a very limited effect on them. They prefer to target people who are powerful, desirable and attractive. People that everyone else wants. People that everyone else admires. They want what everyone else wants. Because that is social proof. That is the influence that the actions and attitudes of the people around them has on their own behaviour. They lack their own individual opinion. When they are tagged in a new source, it's going to be someone that everyone else wants. Because they have been socially proven to possess something that everyone else is after. So when you are displaying all of your qualities and accomplishments, you are inviting these narcissists into your life. You are telling them to come after you. Because that's exactly what they go for. Those are the types of people they go after. They are not interested in people who are not interesting or exciting. People who live a basic life. That's not entertaining for them. It's not going to provide them with any amusement or enjoyment. As part of a long established custom, practice or belief, we typically want to display our qualities and accomplishments and display the best part of ourselves. But if you do that now, you could become a target for narcissists. Because that is what directs or attracts their attention. That is what makes them fixated on you. That is what causes them to develop an obsessive attachment to you. Where they are unable to take their focus off you. You become the centre of their interest or activity. They want to know or learn more about you. It excites their curiosity and holds their attention because they have a strong feeling of wanting to have what you have. They have a strong feeling to desire to possess what you possess and that is why they will pursue you. That is why they will follow or chase you. They will persistently seek to form a relationship with you. And if you refuse or display any signs of disinterest, or if they feel as though it is not something that they can obtain or possess, they will seek to attain or accomplish a particular goal of something unpleasant over a long period. They will continue to investigate or explore certain ideas or arguments. They will persistently afflict you. They will desire to cause pain or harm to you. They will engage in activity or course of action designed to cause suffering, distress, trouble and misery to you. Because you have what they want. You have what they seek. You have what they desire. And because of their arrogance and strong sense of entitlement, they believe that they are inherently deserving of whatever you possess, regardless of what you want or how you feel. They are self-absorbed and lack empathy. So they believe that if you have something that they want, you should just hand it over. And if you don't, they will plot and scheme to trick or deceive you to take it from you and in the process of doing this 
they will also do everything in their power to make your life miserable. To make you feel unhappy or uncomfortable. To make you feel small or inadequate. To cause trouble, difficulties or discomfort. Because you have what they want. You have what they seek. You have what they desire. And they feel as though you have refused or rejected them. Or as though it is not something that they can obtain or possess. They are predators. They are trying to exploit you. They are trying to make full use of and derive benefit from you. They are trying to make use of a situation in a way that might be considered unfair or underhanded. They are using you unfairly for their own advantage. We need to protect ourselves from these predators. We need to keep ourselves safe from danger or harm. We need to watch over each other, look out for each other and continue spreading this information making people more aware of what is going on. Because society is enabling narcissists. Society is enabling this dysfunctional behavior. They are making it possible for them to do what they do. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at nogsforthecoaching at gmail.com. Check out the merchandise in the Narcs Forever store where you can purchase your own Narcs Forever t-shirt, tank top or mug. The link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.